Hey guys, C here from Virginia Grace Living. So today I'm gonna to be making some maple venison breakfast sausage. I picked up some of these nice little um, plastic trays off of Amazon. I think it's three for about 20 bucks. Um, these are gonna be super helpful today. Normally I'm always just using random Tupperwares and stuff, but definitely recommend having some nice bigger tubs to work with when you're grinding up meat and different things. So. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the venison trimmed up. I'm going to take off any of the silver skin that it has. And then we're going to go ahead and cube up the pork shoulder. So I'm going to be mixing this at a ratio of about 25 to 30% pork with the venison. So I use pork shoulder. Uh, it's got a high fat content and it grinds well with the venison. So we're going to go ahead and get that stuff prepped up. And I'll see you at the next part. All right, so I got this all cut up. Now I got my pork butt over here. So this is about a 10 pound pork butt. And this is probably about 15 or 20 pounds of just chopped up venison. Um, so I'm gonna debone this and get this cubed up, put in here, mixed around, and we'll put that back in the freezer to let it chill up a little bit. So on your pork butt, you got your fat side here. We're gonna leave all that fat cut down into it until you hit that bone. And we're going to cut around that bone as much as possible and get as much of this out of here as we can. If you find a um, boneless one, you can do that, or you can use pork belly if you have um, access to that at a good price. A lot of places are pretty expensive. Um, so pork butt, you know, you can get this on sale for like 99 cents a pound sometimes. So that's what I typically do and it turns out great. So I have my pork all cubed up and everything, so we're actually gonna go ahead and separate about half of this into one tub, because I'm making two different types of sausage actually today. I'm just making a video on the maple sausage. I'm also making an Italian sausage, but <clears throat> I'm not really gonna do that on video right now, but if you like the recipe, I can definitely share it with you. So these recipes come off of letsmakesausage.com, which is a really good resource. Um, I definitely uh, recommend you checking them out if you're wanting to learn about making sausage. Um, I will put the link to the description or in the description for both of these um, recipes and also just the general link to the website. So we're going to go ahead and get these back in the freezer and keep that temperature down. Here's where we're at right now. See you in a couple minutes for you in a couple seconds really. For me it'll be a couple minutes. We're gonna start with a coarse grind. We're actually gonna double grind this meat. But we're gonna get a coarse grind first and um, push it through. Then we'll do it again and then we'll add our seasoning. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this cranked on. And start dropping our meat in. So now I'm swapping over to the finer plate and I'm going to regrind this uh, over here that we've already ground up. So I've done both tubs, they're all been through the coarse grind. I'm going to regrind them and then we'll mix in our ingredients. So we've got these both ground up to the fine grind. Um, so now we're gonna get some of our ingredients mixed up together and I'll show you how I'm gonna make this maple sausage. So in between, I'm always trying to make sure that I keep these cold, right? So if I'm working on one tray, the other tray's in the freezer. Uh, it's really key to keep all your ingredients cold to make sure everything stays fresh when you're grinding. Some people will even freeze the part of their grinder first um, to make sure that that's cold. So either way, here we are, double grind, nice and fine grind on that. You can see the fat and everything and the pork is incorporated very nicely and evenly. So let's get those ingredients together and I'll show you what to do next. So the next part, we're gonna be mixing up our seasonings, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and this recipe, 
I'm actually kind of tripling it. This is about 15 pounds of meat right here. And the recipe I'm using is for five. So I'm, uh, I've made this before and the onion can be a little overpowering. So I'm not tripling the onion. Um, so we're just gonna do the one onion cut really finely and then I'll tell you about the next uh, pieces. So if you cut up your onion, you just wanna, like I said, do it really finely and then we're gonna put all of our ingredients in a bowl and get those mixed up. Honestly, I might still only do half of an onion here. It'll be enough to give it some flavor but not overpowering. So for this, we're gonna be doing Six tablespoons of kosher salt. Like I said, the original is asking for two. This is 15 pounds of meat. So, three, four, five, six. And then we're gonna be doing three tablespoons of cracked black pepper. One, two, Three. Doing a at least a, a cup of um, this maple syrup. Actually, a cup and a half because yeah. All right. And I don't have any rubbed sage. I really wish I would have checked before, but I don't. But you want to do three and a half tablespoons of uh, rubbed sage here. A cup of ice water here to keep this cold and mixed together. We're just gonna go ahead, and pour this over the top of the meat. Make sure that you get all the stuff out of here. And then we're gonna do our best to go ahead and incorporate this and mix it as best as we can. Kind of rub that over the top. Now, if you have a sausage turner or sausage mixer, those come in really handy. I don't have one, so I have to just do it by hand in these big tubs. All right, once we get this really well incorporated and mixed up, we're actually gonna do a couple of test pieces. So just get a skillet hot and you can test it out and see how the flavor is before you uh, package it all the way up and say you're done with your final product. Sometimes you end up saying, oh, that might need a little bit more salt or more maple, more pepper, however you like it. You know, you can kind of customize it a little bit to yourself, your own taste. All right, so like I was saying, just go ahead and make yourself a little quick couple test patties here. I make a couple because I have kids and they all want to taste it too. But if it's just you, go ahead and just do that one test patty. I need help. Oh, it's just on the other patty. Is it here? Yes, 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 yes. All right, let's try these out. They're probably really hot, but we're gonna go ahead and cut it and give it a good try here. All right, so we're gonna give it a try real quick. See how it tastes. Pretty good. What do you think, Amber? Does it need a little bit more salt? I think it might need a little bit more salt and pepper. And maybe even a little bit more maple flavor. What? Give it a try. See what you think. Salt. A little more salt. Yeah. Alright, so this is why it's important to do your test batches. Because you could just package it all up and say, alright, cool. And, you know, then it's not really what you like. So go ahead and give it a quick test. And then I'd make adjustments from there. I'm going to add a little bit more black pepper and some salt. salt. You want your sauces to have a little saltiness to it. All right and then I'm gonna do some Italian seasoning just because I don't have any sage right now. 
We're just gonna kind of throw that in there and give it a little bit of that herb flavor. And we're gonna drizzle a little bit more of the maple syrup over the top. Another test. Another piece real quick. We did another test batch. What do you think? Is it hot? Don't burn yourself. Hot. Is it any better? Let me try a piece. Good. I think that's better. That's gone. Okay. We'll have to let uh, Levi and Mom try it. Mm -hmm. Let's go. All right, go. All right. We'll go ahead and get that packaged up. Mom! All right, guys. So that's pretty much it as far as the recipe goes and making this. Um, from here, we're going to go ahead and package it up. I'm going to actually vacuum seal mine. There's a few different ways you could do it. If you don't have a vacuum sealer, you can always use the freezer bags and just get as much air out as possible. Or what some people will do is take like a plastic wrap and roll it into a log and then use butcher paper on the outside. That's pretty much all we're gonna do. Um, so at the end of the video, I may show how much I had, I came up with. This is 15 pounds of venison maple sausage. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video guys. If you have any questions or just wanna leave a comment, go ahead and leave that below. Like I said, I'm gonna put some links in the description so that you can follow along and find those recipes for yourself. Also, I'm gonna put the link to our Amazon shop in there. Uh, there are certain things that we use in there quite frequently. I use some of the vacuum sealing bags and some other things there uh, that we use in our garden. So again, guys, I really appreciate you watching the video and taking the time to uh, stop by the channel. Uh, so thanks for watching and God bless.